We originally installed Linux-based PCs running OpenOffice to save money in the short term, but we quickly found that the exorbitant cost and limited availability of support left us worse off. I need something I can rely on. If an open source freeware solution breaks, who's going to fix it? A hugely disproportionate 30% of our IT resources was required for a period of months to service open source. An estimated 25% of additional staff time was routinely required to install and maintain open source based systems. When I was using OpenOffice.org, I was especially having trouble with macros not being supported enough. I was asking for help from the IT department. They evaluated my requests and suggested that I use Microsoft Excel. We were accustomed to feeding calls from users in a bind due to difficulties with OpenOffice.org on a daily basis. With OpenOffice.org, there was total uncertainty about the formatting of documents and also about their inconsistency when shared outside our production group. Employees using OpenOffice.org weren't always capable of correctly making sense of documents arriving from outside the company and doing so with adequate security guarantees. OpenOffice.org 3.1 failed to deliver on its promise of better Microsoft Office interoperability, severely mangling our Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel test data files. I've had students who turn in files that they have converted from OpenOffice with formatting problems. That affects their grade. When I open a large spreadsheet, it can take 10 times longer in OpenOffice.org than Office Excel 2007. Our employees were frustrated because OpenOffice and our overall IT environment prevented them from being more productive. New employees lacked OpenOffice.org applications use skills that significantly increased the employee's adaptation period and adversely affected their operational efficiency. Our users' familiarity with the Microsoft Office interface and the uniformity of different application tools have minimized calls to the help desk. By using Microsoft Office 2007, we have reduced the internal support costs significantly because our staff is familiar with this system. This increases acceptance and job satisfaction. The company paid too much for using open code, openoffice.org software. Efficiency of operations was decreasing. I don't necessarily agree that open source is a free product. There are always costs related to support, standardization, and compatibility. When we returned to Microsoft Office after our experience with OpenOffice, you could practically hear a collective sigh of relief across the entire district.